By definition, burnout is more than just work stress and can lead to a deterioration in one's work and low self-esteem. My name is Joseph, I'm a psychiatrist working at eSychiatry. We create mental health videos for both Facebook and YouTube. In this video, I want to define burnout and depression, draw the link between them, discuss two cases and offer some suggestions around recovery from burnout. There are timestamps here if you would like to skip ahead. Most features of burnout are work-related, whilst the negative feelings and thoughts of depression encompass all areas of life. The core features of burnout are extreme emotional and physical exhaustion, depersonalization, and a reduced sense of accomplishment. It is often job or situation related and is associated with a preoccupation with work. Depression, on the other hand, is associated with low mood and a loss of interest in usual activities. It is generally context free and is a blanket feeling of hopelessness and overall functional impairment. Burnout, on the other hand, is associated with work only sometimes being impaired. So how does burnout relate to depression? Some medical experts maintain that burnout is its own entity. Others feel it is a risk factor for depression. And then there are some experts who say that burnout and depression are the same thing. They argue that there is too much symptom overlap to tease the two apart. One technical difference is that depression is a mental health diagnosis. Whilst burnout is an established construct, it is not a mental health or psychological diagnosis. Something I think is of importance um, is labeling emotional exhaustion and associated symptoms as burnout could be an easier pill to swallow than the medical diagnosis of depression. And there's less stigma associated with the word burnout than there is with depression. What might further help me to explain the difference between depression and burnout is to use two examples. On one hand, we have Tom, who works as a nurse doing long shifts at a small country hospital where he is poorly supported. Over time, he feels unhappy, emotionally and physically exhausted and dreads returning to work. On his days off, he enjoys a drink with his mates and tends to his side project. Sam, who works at the same hospital, on the other hand, is feeling hopeless and helpless. She too feels exhausted and it has spilled over to affect her ability to care for her children and the upkeep of her house. Her negative thinking involves not just her work, but other aspects of her life. She gets little enjoyment from anything. Tom likely has burnout, whereas Sam meets criteria for a depressive episode. The first step to managing burnout is to identify and then acknowledge it. This may require you to see your doctor or a psychologist who can help tease it apart from depression and some other physical health conditions such as low B12 and thyroid conditions which can mimic depression. Thinking about the relationship between burnout and depression and how it is rooted in work stresses, one could suggest one should reframe how you approach your work. Take time off, find balance, note the value in your contributions and reflect on what you once enjoyed about your work. Recovery from burnout may mean taking a break, putting aside time for relaxation and setting healthy boundaries so that you don't overextend yourself. Finally, it may also help to reach out to those closest to you, both at work and with your friends and family for support. There you have it, our video on burnout and depression. If you have any comments or suggestions, send us a message. Thank you for watching.